Hey, what's going on, everybody? Kenan here. Sorry I'm late today. I had a doctor's appointment. So uh, we are going on now as opposed to our normal time of 4 o'clock. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot going on today, a lot going on at the camp. So I just wanted to make sure that um, I was around for you. Uh, what's going on, Red Lizard, Alice Droff, Trendon, Aldridge, My World, what's up, Sawaf, Sawan, Hug, GTI Gaming. How y'all doing? Uh, we're hanging out here, and um, like, it, like I said, I'm just hanging out, checking on everybody here. Uh, it's going to be kind of a protracted a, uh, event here. Let's see what's going on with Solomon. He's hiding down here. It's been warm. I might want to miss him. Uh, what's going on, Cyana, McDonald, Turtle Ninja? All right, Charlie, howdy. Uh, just a special shout-out. I'm sure everyone uh, knows what's going on out there in Houston. I just want to say hello to all my friends out in Houston. I hope you guys are doing all right, and I hope you guys get through get through the craziness that's going on out there. Take it from uh, us folks in Florida know all about those uh, hurricanes, man. They're a pain in the neck. So I just wish everyone well and hope you're all doing good out there. Um, anyhow, folks, uh, here we are. Let's see what's going on with Solomon. He likes to burrow into the uh, cypress mulch here. And he's such a funny lizard because he likes to abuse me sometimes. He, oh, come here, come here, come here. Let's go say hello, everyone. Let's have him come on out. I'll bring him out. Whoa. We'll just let him get on up on me. Then he can climb around. So there he is, Solomon, the monkey tail skink. I like to pull him out. He's got incredibly sharp claws, and he does like to bite me every now and again. So you might see that. Um, I don't like when he gets close to my head here. You guys might get a really good shot of me getting nailed by my friend and yours. Let's get him up on top of the, uh, let's get him on top of here. Um, goodness gracious. Yeah, we'll see some sulcatas. We'll see some sulcatas for sure. Uh, I'm going to flip the camera, everybody, so we can see just what all the critters are doing. So let me get this food thing off. You know what we'll do? Why don't we get some hibiscus? And we'll, uh, we'll feed Solomon. Stay there, Solomon. Uh, now's a good time to uh, kind of hang out. Let's see, what do we got here? Thanks for the uh, awesome videos. Thank you, Tyler, for watching. It's Tyler Wright. Uh, Solomon weighs about, oh, I'd say about a pound. Look at this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just ripping off a little of this. Not rocket science. Yeah, we're going to see Slinky. Don't worry. Benjamin Soper, we'll see Slinky here in a moment. Actually had a lot of action with Slinky this week. Uh, turns out Jackie and him got a divorce. Uh, I went in there one day and I noticed, you know, I was feeding. And what had happened was um, there was some food near Jackie. And it looks as though I thought it was just a feeding situation. But, you know, Slinky was chasing her down and kind of bit her and gave her a little cut on her belly. So I pulled her out. And um, I'm thinking that the uh, basically what I'm thinking the reason for the aggression is uh, breeding season's over <laughs> so he doesn't want to tolerate any interlopers in his uh, enclosure so we'll see him in a second I remember you Alex Groff Arctic Reptiles like your video oh that's Arctic Reptiles dead silence saying that um, so uh, let's see um, looking for some questions uh, this is good old Solomon he's hanging out he's just having a little treat as you can see um, it's all going well. Herptile Haven, hello. Uh, Ethan Zapata, snakes. Yeah, we have snakes here. Uh, you want to see one of the ponds, my world? There's one out there. There's the pond. Uh, and here's the leopard tortoise enclosure. But guys, don't let me forget that Solomon is out on top of his cage. I'll do that. I'll go talking to you. Next thing you know, I'll forget. We'll go off walking, and I'll forget good old Solomon's up on his cage. So I'm ho hopefully you guys will help me out. Here's one of the females. Very cool. Solomon's actually old, uh, Shirley. I got her from a friend of mine, Erica Gouldy, um, and her uh, boyfriend, a uh, really nice guy, Jerry. Don't know Jerry's last name, though. Hmm, interesting. Cool dude. Anyway, he had Solomon for many years. Uh, this lizard is close to 10 years old, to be perfectly honest. That's kind of old. So I'm pretty psyched. Uh, the live's late because I had a doctor's appointment. Life got in the way, everybody. Had a little bit of a checkup. Everything's good. The heart's working good. The uh, arteries are good. I got a clean bill of health, so there'll be more of me yapping for a long time. So check this out. I had to do some uh, maintenance here. 
the pavers were falling in, it was eroding, so I had to wheelbarrow all this dirt yesterday. And I'm gonna plant some of that elephant grass. You see how nice that elephant grass is? I'm gonna plant this here, but I gotta block it so these guys can't eat it, they're radiated. So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna use edible plants that'll get nice and fountainy. I'll let them grow up in here, and they're gonna keep this from eroding whenever it rains. Uh, but um, it's kind of neat. Always good to plant more of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Uh, how old can Solomon get? I'm not 100% sure how old Solomon will be. I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 15, possibly 20 years old. Look at this beauty right here, coming all over to say hello to me. I did some tree trimming yesterday and I let these guys eat all of the leaves from the branches, so they were stripping the branches. Here's an extreme close-up of a very curious radiated tortoise. How awesome is that? And if I sit here long enough, folks, they're gonna just all start to wander over. Here comes another one. Here comes another. Why don't we give them some food? Let's, uh, let's hook it up. We got some cactus. We got some tortoises. Let's get it done for them. Just break off a little something. Chuck it down there. I'm not gonna be able to just hang out here and feed them all day, but I just put it down like that. Oh, look at this gal. She doesn't want the one I just dropped. And there you go. Really good stuff here. Nice. I'm gonna put it down, kiddo. You go grab it like that. So that's kind of fun, huh? Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting new lizards, coops, reptiles. I'll probably, I'm gonna wind up giving Jackie back to my buddy Anthony uh, in a few weeks or even sooner if I can because I'd, I'd prefer uh, to get her in a bigger enclosure. Right now she's where Colin normally lives and uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it over there because the Wi-Fi signal is no good. But here is this lunatic. Let's make sure we put him back in. You guys are supposed to remind me. Thank you, Snake Man 1987. You're the man, man. Let's do this. Just pick him up by his little, oh, those are sharp claws. Oh, that's sharp. That is painful. You have no idea how painful that is, people. Hold on, bear with me. Bear with me, everybody. We're gonna, ouch, oh my God. It's brutal, it really is brutal. I thought this was gonna be an easy transfer. It's not, it is not gonna be easy. You see this? Oh God, twist around there, buddy. No, oh no, no, you can't do this to me. Oh my God, everybody, I'm so sorry for the crappy uh, camera work. There we go. No, get down, get down. Do you see how it happens? Oh, all right. That's about as crazy as it's gonna get, man. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna do something cool with Slinky's cage. Um, actually, let's walk over there. Let's go see what's happening. Uh, how big is that cage? That's Solomon's cage. It's one of the uh, Zoomed iguanariums. It's perfect for one lizard of his size. And uh, I have two empties right there. They're not full. I use those for the baby cyclora when they hatch. Say hello to the baby tortoises real quick. There you go. Uh, let's see, some baby tortoises. They're all hiding somewhere out. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, Cyana McDaniel, he bites really hard. All right, so here comes Slinky's cage. We're moving on over to Slink's. So there's a couple things I'm going to do here when the weather cools off because I don't really want to work too hard in this hot weather. So here's Slinky's cage, right? The, the metal frame, there's Slinky. I don't know if you could see him through the double wire. There's one of the uh, rhinos. There's Slink's. This was all just old wood that I had lying around. I'm gonna take all this off, save the wire, gonna break this down. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna build them, the rhino iguanas are gonna get themselves an entirely new habitat. It's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be made out of the uh, aluminum tubing and that's gonna be much better. I like to give these guys a little treat too, see that? You just pluck the, these weeds, they love them. Just pluck it and shove it through the wire. They can pull them through with their little sticky tongues. Come on, see that? There we go. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna pull this all down, rebuild. Uh, Janelle, I don't know if she's gravid, no, not 100% sure. So I'm gonna have Anthony deal with that because I'd rather get her home to Anthony and he knows how to incubate the eggs. He's hatched Cyclura before. So um, uh, we'll split the babies, so we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, let me finish this thought. So this is gonna come down, all right? And then we are going to build these guys a new habitat, probably over here on a pad, kind of out that way. Once I get them all set up, 
this gets ripped down and I'm going to redo it. I'm going to make, uh, see this snake cage here? This section where the Timor pythons are? I'm going to make an identical one here for my hog island boas. Uh, it's got to be tall enough that I can walk in and then we're going to tap off of here. And this whole area where there's a cage right here, that's going to be what I would hope will become a female water monitor cage. This way, I'll have a little door between Slinky's cage and the female's cage. And during breeding season, I just open the door, let them walk in, and then uh, it closes uh, when it's time to get them out so I can separate them easily. Let's go see Slinks, see what he's up to. Uh, any care tips for snake neck turtles, northern snake necks? Uh, yeah, filtration. Basically, the care for them is like any other um, water turtle. You want clean water, so either good filtration or uh, you're going to be draining and changing the water often. Uh, beyond that, um, live food usually to get them start. Oh, look at this guy. And now everyone freaks out. Don't worry about the color of the water. The water was changed this week. It's just in the direct sun, there's a lot of algae. They're slinky. Um, so anyway, you know, blood worms, little fish, they really love to eat that stuff. Sometimes it's tough to get them on pellets. We're talking about snake necks. So once they get on the pellets, though, they're great. Look at this. Look at the Fly River is uh, not shy at all when it comes to getting in the way of slinks. There they are. Remember, guys, every night, this pond, there's a pump that comes on for two hours and filters out this water. So don't sweat it. Uh, very cool. Yeah, Christopher Supper, you got your work cut out for you if you're dealing with sulcatas up in Long Island, bud. Good luck. Uh, there's the slinky. And he was being a bad boy, so I came in here the other day to feed him. Jackie was sunbathing right there. Uh, everything looked cool. And what happened was I balled up some food, put it next to Jackie. She wasn't interested. He saw it, ate it, and then attacked Jackie. And Fowler was chasing her and uh, gave her a really good bite and a shake, and that freaked me out. Real good bite and a shake, and uh, he actually cut her little belly. Not bad, no blood, but he definitely cut through the scales. So um, I instantly saw that. I had to leave, so I pulled her out, and I put her in where Colin lives. I don't know. Slinky's pushing five, I think. He's getting there. Uh, definitely over four foot. Uh, he's a big boy. Um, you're looking for a turtle with good personality? Class A reptiles? Uh... You might want to try TurtleDate.com. Um, that, that might be good for you. A uh, lot of single turtles on there. Real great personalities. You know, they may not have the best jobs, but definitely personality. So, there you go. Just kidding. Reeves Turtles. Really great uh, small aquatic turtle. Lots of personality. Funny. Um, they'll beg for food. Uh, they wander on land. They can swim very well. So, I would, I would recommend a Reeves Turtle. There you go. Uh, what other questions do we have here? Uh, you live in London. Leo unboxing Hassan. Congratulations. Uh, what would you advise to do for a biting monitor? I nearly took your hand off the other day. Oh, boy. Uh, large enclosure and build trust with the animal. You want to uh, spend as much time as possible in that enclosure with the animal so it gets used to you. Don't go offering your hand. Feed it on tongs. Um, you know, and work with the animal. Time spent. Uh, where the animal can build trust with you, uh, positive, rewarding. Look at this, guys. Here's two. Here's two brown anoles, and they're fighting. Two brown anoles fighting. This is like more to the gargantuan, shrunk down. This is live, crazy little animal nonsense. Brown anoles. These guys are non-native here in Florida. Came from Cuba, uh, but we love them. Little lunatics. Every once in a while, Slinky catches one, but these two guys are battling a little bit. So that was that was kind of cool. Uh, you got little dudes and a big old lizard right there uh let's see let's see uh, uh a lot of questions man england is not europe you know they leave the eu i'm from europe amsterdam oh brother listen guys that's political affiliations i believe that you know england is uh geographically once was a part of uh the mainland of Europe, I don't know, some glacial stuff happened. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with saying it's Europe still. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They did that whole Brexit thing. And, uh, you know, hey, there you go. They chose to do it. C'est la vie. Uh, I wonder how far I can go. Let's see what's going on over here. I want to tear this down too. I just don't like the way it looks. This is an old dog kennel. 
and in it are my, I have one green iguana. He's right up there. He actually was a wild iguana that I caught and I kept. He's got one toe on one of his front legs. I don't know if we'll be able to get in there and see him. What's up, buddy? But he hangs out here with my Asian, uh, the Malaysian box turtle right there. Uh, so this is gonna get torn down. I'm gonna extend the fence and I gotta put these Asian turtles in another area and then the crazy little, here we go, look. All these little cherry heads and elongateds that live here are gonna have a little bit more room and they'll have that nicer um, water hole. Got some bamboo in here. They get, these guys like the cover. Um, babysitting these for my buddy uh, who wanted me to kind of do that. Not much French muffin. Not much is up. Just hanging out in the sun. Showing you guys the tortoises. Everyone's coming over. Uh, they are super friendly. All these guys know that I am their waiter. And uh, hey, D Money, everybody out there, I will have uh, more tortoises hatching soon. Uh, right now, I'm not selling any more tortoises. Um, I'm just letting them all raise up. Look at these little guys. They're all coming over, man. Um, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How cool is that, huh? There you go. Better, better breeding. That's nice. You have a uh, red foot in Amsterdam. Very cool. We've got uh, elongated hiding out in there. Can you guys see that? I'm zooming in. Hiding out. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Happy about that. Uh, Kyle's salties are good. Uh, I got most of my animals early on. I bought animals, but mostly I do I do the rescue work. You know, I just kind of not necessarily do, but I I take these animals. And some people were like, "Oh, how can you rescue an animal and then breed it to sell?" Well, it's very easy. Most of these animals were illegally confiscated from the food trade in Asia, or illegally imported into the United States. And the whole goal of me breeding them and offering animals for sale. Uh, is to lessen the effects of that black market food trade and also the black market pet trade. Most of them go as pets. Um, so basically, by providing animals that are legally bred and sold, we're hoping enough people realize you don't want to do the old, uh, you know, the old, uh, what's it called, buying illegal captive bred animals. I mean, excuse me, illegal wild caught animals. Uh, now, we left these, these guys here. Let's see. Oh, little egg. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. Look at this. I left these guys a little while ago, and they all found. Let's 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 go to town. Let's just give them some more. Let's let's hook a brother up, huh? And sister. Let's just do this. How fun, huh, people? I don't care. I want these guys happy. And then you know what else I'll do? Just because I'm crazy. Let's give them a little fiber. Let's just hook them up they'll come on over we can chat while they eat so this is kind of a fun way to feed right we'll do this for the leopards also uh yeah sorry about the lag everybody if you got lag uh i don't know what to tell you i uh, don't sell elephant grass uh check sul sulcatafood.com that's possible they can hook you up with it if they're still operating uh big leaf philodendron possibly i don't know look at this look at this all right so here's here's something that i'm not happy about and this happened yesterday and i didn't see this so look at this people this freaks me out and this is why oh, i got a pit in my stomach i hate this so this nest was laid um two days ago and this is a radiated tortoise egg and the crows got this um, I wasn't fast enough. The crows will sit and wait. I didn't even know that. She, I knew she was digging test nests, but I, I didn't get to it in time and I lost it. Um, I'm really bummed. So I went out and I bought fishing wire and I'm going to have to, that's why I was working out here. I cut all this down. There used to be a lot of bushes here, got rid of them. And I'm going to do the fishing line across the top of this because I just cannot stand losing any eggs. If you guys come over here, I don't know if the lag's gonna be good or not. I don't know, but you'll see. So this fishing line, it's hard to see. There's monofilament right here, all right? So this fishing line is strung up and if the birds fly down, they can't see it, but they hit it and it freaks them out. So now what I'm gonna do is I gotta finish stringing all this area. Cause for whatever reason, the tortoises are liking this area to lay their eggs this year. So I need to, 
do that like tomorrow. So I got a lot to do, man. The crows, yeah, definitely street smart, dude. It's the truth. It's funny, man. You know, it's like I'm pissed at him, and you know, I really get mad. I mean, that that's disturbing to me. But the reality is, is crows don't know. They're just doing a thing. So I have to continually be smarter and more vigilant than the crows. And I don't always win, but it is a battle. Um, let's give some leopards some grass and cactus, shall we? Uh, I'll answer some questions, guys. I know I've been slacking on that. Give me one second, all right? I'm like, I'm farming and hanging out. I need my machete is what I need. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Just pull this whole cane off. Um, hi, Brendan. Did I ever visit Long Island Reptile Museum when I was in Hicksville? Were you still? Yes, I know, Christopher. I knew that place. Um, actually, the big Al Dabber that used to live there is at a friend of mine's house down here. And uh, that place, uh, you know, was exciting for a minute, but then you saw how they treated the animals, and it was like kind of a hellhole, if you ask me. So I'm glad that they, they kind of got in trouble when they closed down. Um, and the term museum is right because most of the animals were dying there. <laughs> So I'm glad that that place is gone and some of the tortoises went to happier homes. Let's get some more cactus. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, someone wanted to see sulcatas. Here's Lumpy. Let's give Lumpy a little love. Come here, Lumps. Say hello to everyone. Lumpy I got in 2004 and he was just a little guy. He's not so little anymore. He's my big, handsome, handsome guy. Uh, thank you, Joseph. Appreciate it, man. Great horn owl deco decoys will scare them away. I'm on it, brother. I will get them. I do appreciate that, and I appreciate your contribution. Uh, folks, I also want to you know, let you know if you guys want to contribute, you may do so on here, or you guys can actually help us out on Patreon. Go to patreon.com uh, slash uh, Kenan, Camp Kenan, and uh, you can go ahead and check out some of the support levels. And uh, you get an autographed picture in some of them. You can do a video chat um, where I'll video chat with you and answer questions. I have, we have a few people signed up for that. And I did it Monday, but you guys aren't watching. You guys got to watch. I don't want to just take your money. Come on and hang out. I'll answer questions. It's easier to get your question asked. Uh, so there you go. Um, best beginner turtles, red eared sliders, painted turtles, mud and musk turtles. Um, those are some of the best uh, beginning turtles. Uh, I don't have any uh, Russian tortoises. I actually did a video on them, though, if you search back in the episodes. I am not attending Tinley in October. Uh, what kind of carpet python do I have? I have a coastal carpet. Uh, when am I getting back up on to see Scotty? I don't know. Hopefully Scotty will come and just see me down here. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back on my BMX. Not really itching to do it. Um, but I am itching to give this guy some cactus. How about that? There you go, dude. Get on it. Come on. Turn, turn, please. No, come here. You, you're not going to walk away from this, are you? I don't think so. I didn't think so. Come on, sniff it. Realize, there you go. And now you have it. Um, these guys are funny, man. They, I'll, he'll just nibble on that. They are so funny. Uh, my diamondback turpin has squishy plaster on. If it's an adult, that's metabolic bone disease or soft shell. You got to get it calcium. You got to get it the right diet ASAP and make sure it's got UVB. If it's a young one and it's really squishy, um, it could be the same thing. But the problem is it's so difficult to turn that around with baby turtles or tortoises. Um, you got to make sure you're feeding these animals the right foods from the off or else they're just going to be, uh, they're just not going to have fun. Fick fun. What's up? Flick fun? I'm shouting you out. Uh, you already saw Slinky. I was just in with Slinky. I'm just finishing up. Look at these. We have night blooming flowers here that I just pull off. Look at this, they fall. Let these guys eat them. I don't care, I'm like uh, any of you older folks know who the Adams family is. I'm kind of like Morticia Adams in that I don't care about the beauty of the flower, only that it's food for my tortoises. So if I just dump this off here, they'll all eat it. It's pretty cool. Uh, the Burmese Python is in the other warehouse. I'm not gonna have signal if I go in there. So I won't be able to do that. Perfectly honest, she's in a vision cage, a, a eight foot vision cage, not too exciting. Um, there's regulations now that I cannot keep that animal outside uh, here in Florida, which is a bummer because I'd like to do something. Uh, I don't have any bearded dragons. Um, I'm gonna sit down and answer some questions and then we can uh, say goodbye. So I'm gonna answer a few questions. We did a nice little walk. We saw some of the critters. 
I was cleaning the patio yesterday while doing everything else. Let's sit down with you. Let's look at some questions here, okay? What do we got? What do we got, people? Food recommendations for baby sulcatas. Check out my uh, sulcata care video. But right off the cuff, yellow squash shredded. You want to shred up some carrots. You want to get some collard green in there. You want to make sure that you got some uh, cactus, hibiscus flower, uh, mulberry leaves, Missouri tortoise diet, the zoo med, um, grassland tortoise diet, hay, and just cut all that stuff up. If you can't get those diets, just go to the feed store and uh, ask them, hey, can I get some of the hay that has fallen out of the bales and fill up a garbage bag and then keep that for a while and snip it all up, mix it together in a salad, perfect. Uh, thoughts on tegus? They're great. Uh, let's see. Can you tips? Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see here. And I don't mean to be like cool guy, but I am stoked. I'm gonna give a shameless shout out to my buddy Steve Blick from the BMX days. I've been getting these glasses from Oakley for years, and I love this. So I'm pretty stoked on those. Uh, do I don't sell any cactus? I do build most of the enclosures, or did someone else? Uh, thank you. They're creative. That's me. Um, and it was necessity breeds invention. I'm not a carpenter at all. I had to learn everything here. Um, and there's some kind of, I've seen some comments where you, some people think that I'm rich. Eh, not rich, dude. Just, um, I don't really require a lot. And so I don't spend a lot. Um, most of this came about when I actually lost big contracts. I used to work, you know, doing the TV thing and, Back in 2010, that ended, and I, I went from a, a decent income to no income, and um, I just learned how to build things. The, the, the greatest thing I had was time. That's what I was rich in. I was rich in time, and I, I learned. I, I worked with my friend Mark from Artistic Stone. He taught me how to do the cement stuff. Um, I made enough money to keep this place going, and then we started to do Camp Kennan. So don't be um, – don't be – like, what's the word, man? I'm looking for the word, guys. Forgive me. Sometimes my brain doesn't always work. Don't be discouraged because you don't think you have a lot of money. Use your brain. Be creative. Harry James, thank you very much, mate, uh, for your contribution of five pounds. When you make, hold on, when you make your big facility to public, uh, can visit how far away are you from Disney? Um, we are about two and a half hours south of Disney. And... Um, we are going to do this facility, Kyle and I. We're very excited about it. Um, you know, it's Kyle and I are really close friends. Uh, it's just great that he moved here, and it just makes sense. Uh, so anyway, um, basically, you know, two and a half hours from Disney, we're going to do tours, but they're going to be scheduled. So you got to call. There will be a fee. The money will go directly towards uh, the, the building of the place or, or the keeping and caring of the animals. So the best thing, you know, just to think about, guys, is – grabbing a group of friends to do it with you um, to, to kind of fill up these tour spaces. Um, but back to my earlier thing, don't be discouraged, man. Money is not – man, sometimes the best thing that happened to me, we're going to get a little, like, personal here. Uh, I like to just give you guys a little bits of inspiration because I wish someone did it for me, but here, is, here it is. Um, the, the most exciting time in my life is when I lost this big NBC gig because it made me reevaluate what I love to do and uh, how I communicate with people and how you use all those talents that were television talents. Now they're talents talking to you folks about animals and getting you psyched and excited. Um, and you can do this with anything. It doesn't matter if it's reptiles. We just happen to all love reptiles. But if you can communicate with uh, the masses and talk to people and inspire yourself to do all this it's basically learning learn some carpentry learn some masonry skills uh, learn how to recycle tools and um, recycle materials and you can do it there you go a little inspirational talk I don't mean to sound like a dork I freshly shaved head too I love it um, you know I'm starting to look more like a turtle these years uh, do you uh, do do you like a best turtle or I think you're asking Brendan if I have a favorite turtle um, not really I like them all, but don't tell anyone. Nostradamus is my favorite. Anyway, don't tell the other ones. Uh, so let's see. Uh, any other questions, man? We're almost at a half an hour here. How do I donate? Don't see a button. Burke, uh, if you really want to help us out, go to Patreon. 
Uh, if you go to patreon.com, Google it. I don't have a graphic I can put up. It's patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. You'll be, you know, we'll actually give you things back. Um, instead of just, you know, we appreciate the donations here. We really do. But um, become a Patreon supporter because that will directly help the channel uh, that we can continue to fly to places and do things. You'll notice the last few weeks we've been very, um, uh, we've been, except better, better, everybody's rich except poor people. I think that's uh, P-O-O-R. If you poor people, it's like not the same thing. Um, Patreon. Yeah, man. We, you know, it's the last few weeks, you know, we've been coming from home. Um, we do, we are planning a trip to India. We have the tickets. We're going to India in um, March. Uh, we want to go to Australia. We want to give you guys a real sense of the adventure that we want to do. So uh, there you go. I'm glad you've arrived, Mr. Burger Netter, I believe. Glad you're here. Um, I'm not going to West Palm Beach Repticon, I don't think. Um, I might show up to hang out and visit for a little while. I'm not going to be selling Tampa. Oh, that's not true. Tampa, I think, is in November. It's possible. Uh, A to Z reptiles, what up? Um, what am I thinking about doing? Yeah, we got to do that, Jacob. we got to swim with the retick. Uh, we'll see what happens. Kelly, where's Kate? Kate's at home. Kate's probably watching. Um, and we are uh, – We're she's cooking dinner, and I'm already late because I was supposed to be there at 530. That's not happening. Uh, yeah, I was a little sad, David, a little sad, a little mellow today. Now I'm not sad, just mellow. Uh, lots going on, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, see, there she is. Hi, Kelly. She's talking to me now and she's watching because she knows how, lo how much I'm slacking. I should be getting over there because she's cooking dinner because she loves me and uh, I'm going to go there. I think it's time I answer maybe another question or two and then maybe I got to get going. Um, I, I definitely like to, to keep these things around a half an hour. Yeah, not. A, I don't know. I think she's making chicken and veggies. Here's the deal, folks. I got acid reflux disease. It's horrible. I got the GERD. So I had been, oh, it's not ready yet. 552. What are you slacking for, Kate? Um, yeah, so I've been having a hard time sleeping and stuff because it bubbles up. And then I lose my voice. So I've been taking pills and stuff like that. But it, the reality thing is I got to make sure that I keep on my diet. I've had it for many years. It came back, and I got to blah, blah, blah. Don't get old. There you go. My favorite animal. Um, gosh, I don't know. Turtles, maybe? Uh, let's see. What other – what kind of enclosure is best for Mata Mata? Uh, Mata Matas get fairly large, so if you have a large um, – they, they're fairly large, but they aren't – incredibly active very similar to a um alligator snapper so i'd create something with um with a um uh you know easy for them to walk out and get a breath you don't want sheer walls you want something that has a sloping side because even though they're fully aquatic they don't swim well uh best bet would be something as deep as they are long and I think that would work good. And then I like to throw leaves and stuff in the water. And so basically what happens is the, uh, the water gets that pH of the leaves. It gets tan and rich, and I think that's good. Uh, so, all right, we're going to switch gears. Someone asked me what I thought of the Game of Thrones season finale. Holy smokes. Yeah, look, man. Anyone who read the books knew that uh, – spoiler alert, everyone. Spoiler alert that John was a Targaryen, and they've been telegraphing it all season. Sketchy stuff, dude. Is he going to kill Daenerys at some point to become Azor as, as a high? It's going to be nuts. Uh, the dragon, was the dragon breathing ice or was that like super hot fire? I don't know. It's crazy. But I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, one of the dragons had to die. Um, also, another cool thing is the rumors are that there are a bunch of dragons hibernating underneath Winterfell. So maybe we'll see an army of dragons, and uh, John is going to be the one to wake him up. I don't know. It would be nuts. Anyway, everybody, uh, yeah, nerd speak. Yeah, I'm a nerd, man. What are you going to do? You got to have fun. I'm a big kid. I like dragons. I like fantasy. I like dinosaurs. I like Godzilla. I like aliens. What can I tell you? All right, everybody, that's it. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me today. 
I hope that you had a good time. I hope I answered some questions. I know we saw some of the animals. I like these days that I get to talk with you folks, get to hang out, and I uh, do appreciate it. So thank you very much. I'm going to take off right now. I got to go eat because I'm sure the f as it's, it's going to be good, man. Uh, thank you, Cole, for pledging on Patreon. Wilborn, appreciate that. Thanks for everyone just for watching, man. Um, you guys are great. And don't forget, bonus videos coming up Sunday, Tuesday, new episode. And as always, an Ask Camp Cannon will be on Saturday. Oh, and I've got to record that. Got to do that right now. Talk to you guys later.